And um, <coughs> first of all, this is last week's data. Every week I show it on a Tuesday from um, our friends at CoinShares. But we had four straight weeks of outflows. I did say last week when I shared this, it's very rare to have four straight weeks of outflows and it would turn around. But it did turn around on Friday, but it was too late. It was still negative for the week. And the total deficit was $251 million. But remember, we had $600 million come into the nine new ETS alone on Friday. So it would have been a lot worse if that did not come in. And of course, yesterday was positive too, about 210, 220 million if I remember. So this week should shape up to be good as well. Now let's look at miners. Again, we're still in the bad news. Haven't come to the good news yet. And there's more minor good news too. But as I always stress, surgically excise the winners all right not only am i the solana help desk but I'm also the clean spark help desk now is the latest joke but the uh, bitcoin miners that have outperformed typically in the previous bull market have really done very well but this year is different this bull run is different and by the way a quick reminder as i've said before the bull run began december 2022 January 2023. So we're nearly a year and a half into that, everybody. So for those of you who are thinking, oh, the bull run's just beginning. No, 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 no. We're, we're, we're deep into it, okay? Halfway through. It's very important to get your bearings and know where you are in the cycle, right? Because some people are still saying, oh, the bull run's going to start soon. 